trans surfer and welcome to Trans Surfing TV. I'm Renee Garcia and uh, love me or hate me. I don't, I'm just, I've been, I'm, I've been amazed lately guys that I have ended up being such a controversial character. Like how weird, but I actually am really, really enjoying it. So excuse me while I have a little bit of fun with myself. Um, before I start this video, remember to like it and comment below. I love reality transferring or my world takes care of me and like this video and maybe you might win a nice stack of these coming from moi and remember to check out the teachable course reality 2.0 what what Vadim Zeeland just um, endorsed it I mean he kind of endorses everything that I do at this point so I am fortunate on that note but if you have not seen the curriculum please check it out and if you are a transurfing TV subscriber or a Facebook group member reach out to me personally and I will give you a fat coupon code so with that let's get started day 63 the boat wheel of intention let's go if you want to achieve your goal you have to turn desire into firm intention dreams don't come true stop longing for your goal if you hold the intention it is already yours longing is the fear of failure I want it so much, but I don't have the energy. And at the same time, I'm afraid it won't work out. Why are you afraid? Because you are not thinking about the goal so much as how to achieve it. Stop thinking about how. Your task is to think about your goal as a fake complete and run this goal slide in your mind. On the path to your goal, things won't go as you expect, or it might be that nothing happens at all. Don't let that discourage you. No matter how events unfold, keep your course in a direct line with your goal. Let this be your motto. I don't want, I don't hope, I intend. Okay, that's like kind of like the trans surfing mantra, right? The Deem Zeeland's interpretation. Your position in the alternative space relative to your goal is as if you were in a boat on the open sea. In order to reach land, you have to sail it in a northerly direction. The direction in which the compass needle is pointing represents the focus of your train of thought. All the time that you envision a mental picture of approaching the shore and stepping out onto dry land. Your needle will point where it should. All you have to do is paddle and concentrate on arriving. Just this and nothing else. Then the impatient mind begins to fidget and bother the rower. Are we heading in the right direction? Will we be much longer? What if you do not have the strength what if we're going in the wrong direction? Of course, we should be going in the opposite direction entirely. As a result, the compass needle begins to waver and the boat constantly shifts its course. The mind doubts and worries because it cannot perceive movement in the alternative space. It is used to having the situation under control. The mind will only calm down if you give it a task so that it can understand what it is doing. So tell your mind not to rock the boat and to keep the wheel firmly fixed on the course. Controlling your train of thought, that is what the mind should be working on. Okay, so everyone, I have no business doing anything like this, right? I have no education in any, any of this stuff. I have no um, experience. I have no, there's nothing in my background that would suggest that I was ever capable of doing what I'm doing right now. Actually, there's contrary stuff to say that this probably wasn't for me. But all I needed to do, just as Vadim's stating here with the boat and the ocean analogy, 
you set the vector of the flow. You make the choice. You don't strive. You don't try to work everything else out in advance. You simply set the vector of the flow. So that's your direction. And then you let the world flow up to you, the outer intention, all the stuff that you need to realize that journey, that goal, get to the end of that path, see your doors, and go through them. So your boat is like your choice and the world is going to provide for you the stream in which your boat flows in the direction of the goal. This is exactly what's happened for me. Now remember, when you choose the goal that's specifically for you, when your mind says yes and your heart and soul say yes, then outer intention is really gonna start popping in your external environment. And it's going to present to you all the options that you will need to take, all the things that you will need to do, everything that's in between you now and the future destination, it's all going to come via outer intention. And the reason that this is, is because your heart and mind are coordinated. That thing is for you. And remember, when you are tuned in to that specific thing for you, in touch with your soul frail, acting out of heart and mind coordination, you are plugging into another version of reality, a sector of reality that is specifically intended for you. Your frail and your heart and mind coordination corresponds to a sector of reality, a life track that is specific for you. So in that life track, all those things are there because that life track is the one specific for you and obtains everything you need to fulfill your goal. Now, the cool thing about transserving, if for some reason something doesn't go right, it's cool because you will have other options or at least that's the intention, that you don't put all your eggs in one basket, that if you're headed, let's say that boat and ocean analogy and your goal is an island, if you, if you are headed in that direction and then suddenly the winds change, maybe you um, get, you veer off course, maybe you see another island you want to go to instead, then your vector just shifts. It's not like you ever, ever, ever lose. When you're working with this stuff, you're always winning. You're always going towards your goal. And if something doesn't work out, then it's for the best because something else is waiting right behind it. So what do you think of this lesson? Are you doing this right now? Are you setting the vector of the flow in the little boat that you're in and simply tuning into your external environment to give you the things that you you need in order to actualize that goal. Remember to like this video and comment below. I love reality transurfing or my world is taking care of me to enter my daily giveaway for these and also the teachable course. Check it out. And also obviously if you have not yet joined our Facebook group, link is below. It is awesome. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.